Today, May 1st, was the day we were promised more information and the start of the ad push for State of Decay 2, and sure enough, it has begun. There was a brand new launch trailer for the game today, and I actually thought that trailer was pretty well done. It got me excited to play State of Decay 2. But then, I started to read a lot of the previews from the gaming media, and my interest in the game has kind of stagnated a bit for one particular reason. And it has to do with how the co-op is implemented in the game. So let's talk about it, shall we? What is going on, guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another video. Oh, State of Decay 2. This is a game that I have been looking forward to mainly for the co-op. So, when the information came out today from all these different uh, outlets, from the preview events that they went to, from Polygon, Game Informer, VG27, the likes of Eurogamer, GameSpot, all these huge websites got to play the game for a couple hours and write their th thoughts down. Some played it on an Xbox One X, some played it on a PC. Now, I never played the original State of Decay, so I don't really know much of what the game is about. However, I do enjoy playing co-op. I remember playing Dying Light uh, completely in four-player co-op with my friends, doing all the missions together and having a blast. And I remember playing Ghost Recon, the latest game from Ubisoft that came out, I think it was last year. Uh, me and a couple of my buddies, we ran through that game over the weekend, playing it entirely in co-op. And those were games that I enjoyed because of the co-op. I felt it elevated the game uh, to a, a higher like standard, so to speak. Uh, they're, they're games I wouldn't enjoy playing uh, solo. So I was really interested to find out more about how co-op was going to work in State of Decay 2. And a few of the, pr the previews, especially from Eurogamer and GameSpot, really have kind of turned me off to the idea of even playing the game in co-op. Now, a lot of these reviews and these, a lot of these previews you guys will see on the internet, they're a little bit mixed. Some outlets are like, hey, State of Decay 2 runs pretty well, especially on the PC. Maybe some you know graphical oddities or bugs here on the X, but it's basically State of Decay 1. If you love State of Decay 1, you're going to really like State of Decay 2, even if it's just more of the same. But my interest in the game, like I said, is about co-op. So when I hear things... From Eurogamer about how uh, there is a tethering issue. Like he says here, my biggest issue is the fact that any guests to a co-op session are tethered to the host by an invisible string, a constant reminder of the game's limitations. Rather than being a true open world experience, if you stray too far from the host, multiple warnings will flash, flash, flash up on screen before you're teleported back to the group. Now that is not exactly what I wanted to hear. I remember being tethered to uh, a co-op partner in games like Fable 2 and Mercenaries on the 360, and I always thought it was a limitation of the network uh, the games were running in. I thought State of the K2 would provide seamless open world experience where me and my buddy could be on different sides of the maps doing different things, or you know what, maybe we're playing with four of us and three of us are going out uh, in search of supplies while one of us guards the base, or we split up 2v2 and we go out and we do our own things and then come back for the common good and bring supplies and all that stuff, but that's not the case. The case in this game is that you can own you have to stick next to the host and that is very disappointing to hear this it has kind of lessened my desire to play co-op i'm still playing state of decay 2 uh I, i've always been told that i missed out on a great game on the 360 so i'm going to rectify that mistake and play this one i mean from all the previews i've read people are like if you enjoyed the first one you'll enjoy this one and it seems to have some cool scavenging aspects, building the communities and stuff, which seemed like a cool idea. But co-op was my most important and most sought-after feature. So to see it kind of be gimped a little bit, uh, I don't know, it's kind of uh, taken the hype a little bit out from me. But that's not the only issue with the co-op. Sure, the tethering is one thing, but the idea of a host, the host's story progress, only, you know, counting and progressing for him while everybody else uh, kind of is stagnated and, and doesn't progress is also a deal breaker for me. So let me explain. When you start up a, a game in State of Decay 2 and you host the online, other people can join you. Now, if you're a person uh, who's hosting the game, 
all your character progression, all your story progression, all your base progression. Uh, it's it's like it, it's like you're playing single player. It just constantly continues. But if you're a guest coming in, your story progression and your base progression they're stagnated. There you're not getting any progress to that. However, you can uh, you you get character progress, the skills that you earned while you play with them. Uh, you get those. You can bring back resources from this player's game uh, back to your your game. So that's interesting in and of itself. But I wanted the story progression to progress. I wanted it to be like Dying Light. I wanted it to be like Ghost Recon. I wanted it to be a game where all my friends could get in together and just play it at the same time and have everybody kind of experience the same thing so nobody's kind of you know left behind that's how i enjoy playing co-op games if i can't play the full game together if because my friends would be like well why am i gonna play in your co-op game when i have my own uh, my own single player and the other guy would be like yeah what's the point of doing co-op if my game's not gonna progress so they're not going to want to play which you know if they're not gonna want to play it makes me sad because i want to play the game in co-op and it reminds me a little bit of Far Cry 5. Far Cry 5 had that where it was like this amazing game that you could play in co-op, but the guest wouldn't get any progress to any of his story missions. So to me, it was like, why would you ever want to be the guest in the game? Sure, the host, no problem. You get all the progression, but not, but not the guest. And it's like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be the guest. And I understand... For people out there who are like, hey, you know what? I don't want to be the guest either, you know, because I certainly don't. So even though I'm still interested in the game, even though it seems like a lot of fun, I'm probably strictly going to play this in single player. Now, if I do review this game, I'll definitely check it out in co-op, whether I'm the host or I am the guest. But honestly, my hype has deflated a lot because the number one feature I was looking forward to experiencing State of Decay 2 with my buddies is now a completely restrictive mode. Single player seems to be the way to play this game when the way I wanted to play it was in co-op with my friends. So I'm a tad bit disappointed. All the other things people talk about in these previews about the glitches, the animations, the repetitive nature of the game itself, those don't bother me because I didn't play the first one. I'm experiencing this for the first time. But the GIMP co-op does bother me. And I've talked about it with my friends and it bothers them. <sighs> oh well. I guess got to reset my expectations, dial the hype down a bit, and play State of Decay 2 more in single player than in co-op. Anyways, what do you guys think about all this? Are you still excited to play State of Decay 2? Are you going to play it in single player? Are you going to mess around and co-op a little bit? Let me know your thoughts on this matter. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Hit the notification bell so you're always notified when I drop said content. Share this out on Twitter. All that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.